Hi everybody, I'm Dr. Jeremy Pettis. I'm an endocrinologist and work at taking control of your diabetes. So something that's coming up in the news a lot these days and people are asking a lot about is, what is this artificial pancreas I'm hearing a lot about? What does it do? When can I get one? All these things. So let's start with what an artificial pancreas is. And the simplest way of thinking about it is it's an insulin pump and a CGM that just talk to one another. And the idea is if it works really well, it can automate insulin delivery and give you the insulin that you need without you really thinking about it. So everybody that takes insulin knows right now when you're taking insulin for a meal, you have to think about your carbs and your exercise and you know to figure out that dose and it's hard. But these systems work well, they'll just know what your blood sugar is, they can give you insulin as you need it and make adjustments during the day without you really thinking about it. And in the clinical studies, these things do a pretty darn good job. So it really is exciting. Um, so to be more specific about what it is, it's three things. It's a continuous glucose monitor, just like the ones that a lot of people are wearing now, like Dexcom for example. It sends that information to some kind of handheld device, and it can be a smartphone or iPhone. It knows what your blood sugar is, and embedded in it is an algorithm. So it says, gosh, your blood sugar is going up, I'm going to give you a little bit more insulin, or it's coming down, I'm going to give you a little less insulin. It sends that information to your pump, and it does it all in this what they call a closed loop, without using your brain to make any of these adjustments. So people's blood sugars are a lot better and it just takes a lot of the stress out of diabetes because you have this system that's doing this for you. So when is it gonna be available? Well, Medtronic actually has a FDA approved artificial pancreas. It isn't quite there yet because what it does is it modulates basal rates of insulin so people do really well overnight. Their overnight blood sugars can be really tight but they still have to take insulin for meals. So it's not a fully 100% automated system, but it's, a, it's an important step. So when are we gonna have that full you know, automated artificial pancreas that we're all waiting for? It's probably gonna be around late 2018, maybe 2019. And by 2019, I'd say we actually have a couple commercial products available. So you know, going to your doctor pretty soon, you'll be able to pick from the different artificial pancreas systems, which I know I'm waiting for, and a lot of people out there with diabetes are too. So I'm excited, you should be excited, and thanks for watching.